Hello Year 5 and welcome to our next online maths lesson and today we're going to be looking at how we can relate percentages of decimals and fractions and what you'll find out in this video that they're all linked together. So let's get ready with Fluent in 5. Right, here we go, Fluent in 5. Today's number is number 225. For all you people out there who have been doing this all along, you should have your paper and pencil at the ready. And now you need to pause the video so that you can answer these questions. Right, okay, floating five answers. Today's number was 225. So I'll double it with 450. Half of it was 112 and a half, or you should have had 112 remainder one. Um, add 10 is 235, take away 10 is 215, times by 10 is 2250, uh, divide by 10 is 22.5, add 1000, 1225, the square root 50,625, and the challenge, the quarter challenge was 56. 0.25 or 56 remainder 1. Okay, let's have a look at what we're going to be doing today. Right, we're going to be looking at percentages. Now, this is the percentage sign. You will have seen this before, and I've just found a few examples of where you might have seen the percentage logo, the symbol, sorry, um, in your everyday life. You may have seen it in shops, sailed. 20% off. Um, in clothing, you will see a little percentage on your labels in your clothes, okay, telling you what the material is made of. You might see it in mortgage rates and confusing things that I don't really understand. But probably the one that you will notice the most with percentages is how much battery life you've got left on your phone, how many games you've been playing goes down a lot quicker. So what does percent mean? Percent means out of a hundred. So if looking at the battery percentage, it's 78% out of a hundred. So it's hundred percent is fully charged. And obviously when you get down to one and two percent, your phone's about to die. So it's showing you how much you've used. Okay. Right, so let's have a look. How does this all convert to fractions and decimals as well? Let's have a sneak peek. Right, we looked at this earlier in the week. Okay, we talked about halves, fractions and decimals. When you look at that half there, you've got one half is not 0.5. But if you include the percentages, it's 50%. The third is 33.3%. Quarter, 25%. Mr. Lee believes that children should learn their 25 times table. Well, it actually makes a lot of sense. You're working in groups of 25. Four, four times 25 equals 100. Okay. So, that's something that you might need for this particular activity. You'll you be able to find this. But we'll just pause it. Take a photo of this screen on your phone and then you can have a look when we're doing our activities. Also, another good way to do today's activity, if you go onto the Top Marks website um, and search paint the squares, you can actually work out, you can colour in some of the squares and you should be able to work out the answers. Okay? Right, so let's have a look at today. You have got these charts, okay? What you need to do is fill in the missing numbers. So let's have a look at some, the first example on each of these. So blue, you've got a fraction of 30 out of 100. So that fraction is the equivalent of 0.3. The percentage, because it's 30 parts out of 100, is 30%. It all links, okay? And if you look at orange there, you've got one fifth. Okay, this is a little bit trickier to work out. 
But remember, whatever you do to the top number, you can do to the bottom number. So whatever you do to the numerator, you do the same to the denominator. So if you double 1, you get 2. If you double 5, you get 10. So that would be 2 tenths. That is the decimal equivalent of 0 0.2. And your percentage, if it's not 0 0.2, will be 20%. Okay. Have a go. Any questions, let me know. Drop us a, a message on Purple Mash and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, well done, year five. Right, a bit of a challenge for you now. I have 100 counters. 21% of them are yellow, 13% are red, the rest are blue. What percentage is blue? If you want to use the interactive 100 square on top marks then go back to that have a go i'd love to see your comment your answers in the comment section on purple mash and well done for today